TNN. The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this Tuesday, the 27th, uh, yeah, it's 28th, 28th of May. We're looking at the Dow and this 10 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update down 138 at 38,932. Uh, from the 40,077 all time high. Whoops, I got to just check that for a moment here. Did I update that? That was, yep, 40,077. On the 20, 20th of May, we've been making lower lows and lower highs consistently. Uh, we are in a short-term sell signal on the daily chart. Um, actually, also short. But the, the fact is that the nine-period moving average is really close to turning, uh, crossing negative. But it hasn't. And talk about hasn't. Look at the S&P. The S&P right now is down just four points at 5,300. Uh, from the high that was made just three sessions ago, it's still holding very well. The nine-period moving average is way above the 14-period moving average. It's going to take quite a while for this to come down if it's going to cross negative. And if you look at the QQQ, uh, that's trading after the 460.58 high of three sessions ago. Uh, at 457.51, just down 44, cent, uh, 44 cents. SMHs, that's the key. This SMH has made an all-time high. Uh, this morning it hit 248.18. That is spectacular action. Let's go to the IWM. IWM is actually holding really well, considering it's up 14 cents. Uh, it's it's still uh, starting to you know weaken a little bit, but holding very well, considering it's the iShares Russell 2000 ETF. And if you go to the gold, gold had a, a nice early morning pop up, then it pulled back, and then it popped up again. Now it's up 17. Being repelled once again, the nine period moving average is so close to turning negative. We'll see what happens by the end of the day. The dollar's been weak. The dollar is uh, down 34 ticks at 104.39. Uh, as I said last week, I think it's trying to test the 104.26, 200 period moving average. Let's go to bonds because that really, the, the market's you know, kind of afraid of what's going to, the Fed's going to do. Uh, that's what it seems like. It's down 7.30 seconds at 116 and 19.30 seconds. Crude oil tried to have a little rally. Um, uh, oh, it's back again. So now it's up $1.41 and 79.13. Uh, that's good action, but it still needs to work quite quite a bit harder to cross positive. I'll be back in a moment. Check out my opening call daily newsletter and Tiger Technicians Hour coming up in a few minutes' time. Hope to see you there.